Upside down, too. Are you there, Mr. Squiggle? <laughs> Miss, Miss Pat. Oh, Mr. Squiggle, you're all right. I'm so oh. pleased you're Thank all right. Uh, Miss Pat. Miss yes? Pat. Yes? Yes. Have, have you seen a surprise anywhere? A surprise? Yes, Miss Pat. Well, no, I haven't, Mr. Squiggle. I thought you were going to bring the surprise with you. Oh, dear. Oh, what's ever mm. wrong, Mr. Squiggle? I can't seem to remember what it was. Oh, Mr. Mm. Squiggle. Girls and boys, I think I'll have to try and remember, remind Mr. Squiggle. Now, Mr. Squiggle, was yes. it anything to do with the pencil and paper? Because, you see, I've bought some paper and a pencil. Miss Pat, hmm? pencil and paper? Yes, That's pencil it. and paper. That's it. <laughs> it's a, a squiggle competition. A squiggle competition. Oh, you're such a help, Miss oh, Pat. Oh, <laughs> good, girls and boys. Isn't that a good idea? A squiggle competition. <laughs> yes, Miss Pat. Well, I think, Mr. Squiggle, then all we need is blackboard. You're here, here Miss Pat. Uh, I'm here. Well, Blackboard, I'm very pleased to see you. Hello, you, Toonologists. Welcome to the show that has a sweet tooth. Well, we had a sweet tooth until we ran out of sweets and were forced to eat it. Mm. Let's have a look at another of the fantastic programs from the past 50 years of ABC Kids TV. Here at Rollercoaster, we love stop-motion animation. It's a clever and entertaining way of bringing puppets to life. To some people, the time required to do stop-motion can make it seem like a restrictive way of animating, but a patient and creative mind knows that the animating technique and slightly jerky finished product can actually allow the puppets to behave in a more realistic human manner and still get away with all the naughty stuff that a traditional cartoon does. Wallace and Gromit and A Town Called Panic are a couple of current examples. But if Roller Coaster was around in 1962, we would have had to make do with an ABC TV stop motion animation puppet show called Wambiji, but centred around an Aboriginal tribe. Twelve seven minute episodes were made, each consisting of 5,000 individual shots. In this episode called Koala Trouble, the tribe's koala has been stolen. Pay close attention to what the cheeky koala says to the leader of the tribe and how he responds at the end. If you don't want my help, Chief, I heard about Kulawong. Shall we get him back? What if it starts a battle? Ah, better for me to go alone. You? Well, if you really want to, you may get yourself hurt, Wombiji. I'm not afraid. Goodbye, Chief. Oh... If I stop him, I might have to go myself. Oh, dear. I do hope nothing happens to him. Chief, come here. Quickly. Look. Cooler one. You came back. Of course. I didn't like that caraway. But who's this? That's Bangaroo. Haraway's koala. I didn't like him either. I had to come back. You're dull and stupid, but I like you. What? Oh, well, that's exactly what I think about you. Ah, uh, despite the unusual character voices and strange humour, I think it looks like a great show. Did you see how much effort had gone into making the set look realistic? Very clever. It gets the cool smart reel. It's Betty. Well, if you don't want my... television have come a long way since this. You can see these birds air compartments coming out. This is the thing from outer space. <laughs>
presenting Australia's national award-winning children's show. and boys and welcome to the magic circle do you know what at last i can say there is not going to be an adventure in the magic forest and i'll tell you why see over the weekend i took fred and fifi max and even sir jasper over to tasmania to meet the tasmanian girls and boys we had a marvelous time but we're all very tired so fifi's too tired to argue fred's too tired to go out to get into mischief and sir jasper is too tired to play any tricks so a lovely quiet week is ahead of us I the magic boomerang the ancient legend of the dream time people tells of a magic boomerang when this strange boomerang flies in the sky, all time will stand still. Whoever has this boomerang has a great power. The feature film Jeddah had performances from Aboriginal actors as early as 1955. But in the ABC's 1966 drama, Wangina, inspired by Dreamtime stories of the Kimberley region, one of the lead Aboriginal characters was played by a white woman, Juliana Allen, wearing black makeup and performing opposite a young Jackie Weaver. Oh, Lindy, but that's silly. You can't believe in Wangina and old skulls, surely. I don't know. But Lindy, you're not... 
I am, you know. I don't mean that way. I mean inside. The way you think. We've been brought up like sisters. Professor Kendrick, chief designer of our spaceship program, has special privileges. If I am to maintain the extreme output your orders demand, Mr. President. You believe you're working to full capacity? I am certain of it. Then you'll have to design a better program. The Vega 4 must be fully tested and ready for space flight within two days. Mr. President enjoys his little joke. There is serious interplanetary interference coming from Galaxy 5. Then send the Interpretaris to make a routine check. Interpretaris isn't equipped for Galaxy 5. Electrogalaxial forces have already dissolved three of the satellite moons of Saturn. The Vega 4 is the latest ship of the line. It's our only hope. The only hope for Earth to survive.
the year 2500 AD, the crew, Captain Roke, Henson Adam Hargraves, Cadet Tina Kubrick, and their computeroid, Cow. Their mission, to maintain peace and to patrol the outer galaxies of Earth's space control. Their constant threat, Platonus, who dreams of ruling the galaxies and, by using his computer through an innocent victim, plans to capture or destroy the Phoenix Five and her crew.